question, where's my password, what's the password, how do I get in, can you reset that for me? It's all just taken care of. Fastpack solves the password problem for small businesses. So it's a solution, um, it's, it's freemium, so you can start off with free to try it and then you pay based on the number of people you need to share with. So that's exactly the need that small businesses have. They go to Passpack, they fill up all their passwords, it's extremely secure, not even we can see what they put on their, inside their accounts, and then they're able to share those passwords out to the people who need them. I'm Tara Kelly, I'm the president and co-founder of Passpack. This is my co-founder Francesco Sulo, who's the CEO and um, CTO. Uh, the company was born in 2008 in Italy, and we are now working out of Silicon Valley. Passwords are a big problem for companies, especially small businesses. There are enterprise products to solve the password problem, the login problem for large companies, and there are individual, oftentimes free products to solve the password problem for individuals. But small businesses are completely lacking in a solution. Um, they have to manage a lot of passwords, they use a lot of software as a service, they use a lot of online services, and they work with people that are either in their office or spread around the world and have to manage handing out these passwords and pulling them back when they need. My experience in security uh, started with uh, working on the other side because for some time uh, I worked uh, like a hack. Uh, this was uh, interesting because you have to think like a, a hacker if you want to protect something. Because when I build the system, uh, to be sure that this is, uh, is secure, I need to understand what an hacker can do on this system, to try to penetrate the system, to try to hack my, my database. So I think that this experience on the other side is really useful to protect my use. Francesco and I are first time entrepreneurs and one of the things that we tried when we first started Passpack um, to get people to come and try it and, and build trust in the community was I did a lot of, um, it's called evangelism. I would go out into forums, on blogs, and, and try and talk to people and let them know what we were doing and why we were doing it and how passionate we were about it. Um, and that actually brought a lot of traffic to the site and we thought, wow, this is great, maybe we can scale this. So we went ahead and we hired two people and I trained them to evangelize with me. And what we found was, that doesn't work. You can't scale a founder talking to somebody else about how passionate they are. Um, you can only hire people to talk about your company for them, which comes off as not only not exciting, but sometimes a little spammy. Passpack's technology is very interesting um, in that we're not able to see what people put inside their accounts. Um, so that means that everything that goes into your Passpack account is completely blind to us. Only you see it and the people you share it with. Um, and there are a lot of ways that you can additionally secure a system like that. Um, so you want to make sure that your servers are secure and you have servers that nobody can get into. Um, and even if they can get into them, they can't read the data. So what we do is we distribute the data. It's encrypted before it even gets to us, and then once it does get to us, we split it up and we distribute it around. One piece of our application is even on Google App Engine. Um, so that pretty much ensures that if anybody wants to try and get Passpack's data, they need to have. Some years ago I worked in a company, an Italian company that was a communication company and uh, casually I discovered that there was a, an attempt to be unfair with the users, with the, with the clients and to try to make some fraud and uh, so I decided to build a system, a website that was like a spy system, some, something like Wikileaks but before and uh, when I put this information for, uh, for help uh, the users, the, the employees, uh, to discover what uh, really was happening. And it was interesting because I, I worked really close with the uh, CEO of the company, so uh, to try to protect myself. I was uh, building a really complex system with uh, servers that send data to other servers, to other servers, that, uh, and this was all, all planned uh, uh, with the timing, so for example, it was typical that there was a, a meeting with uh, the CEO, the corporate communication director, and uh, during the meeting uh, entered the, the secretary that says, oh, there is a news, there is a news, and I say, oh, there is news, this is really terrible, <laughs> and it was fun, but it was really stressful. Because the news was uh, my, my work, because I prepared the news uh, timed in a way that it was perfectly in the middle of the meeting. So Passpack has now reached a uh, break-even and that's thanks to the fact that we've been speaking directly to our customers and getting small businesses to sign up. They're telling other small businesses um, and our, 
growth is organic and it's beautiful. So now Passback is not only break even, um, we're cash flow monthly positive, um, profitable, and it can only get better from here.